What's up guys, welcome back to the Team Song Stickers Live video. Today we're going over one of my fan favorite decks, this is going to be Sprite. I actually played this deck and got my first regional win with this deck way back in Dabble format, so that was when Tier Elements was a big thing. I've always had this deck close to my heart, but I've been playing Mento a lot lately. I'm going to take this deck to Locals, but this, this deck gets to 100 likes, I'll be doing a combo video for it. It's very really good this format, it's probably one of the best budget decks, which I know SP is in the deck, but it's going to be in the tins coming out later this month. Therefore, everyone should pick up their copy. It's a very, you know, generic deck that only gets better without time. Throughout, like, when we, whenever we get another level 2, which is pretty nice. But I'll be showing you guys some of the stuff and the different cards you can play. Uh, but yeah, before a dive in, if you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll show you guys the stuff. So we're playing at even 40. We're going to start off with the copies of the Water Package. So we're playing Triple Beaver. This is very standard, which also leads us into the Double Angler. And the triple copies of Swap Frog. So Swap Frog is going to be an extender as well as a starter. Same thing with the copy of the guest beavers. You know, being able to send this to this to get you have your four level, four level twos on the field, going up immediately into a copy of a totally awesome can be like quite nice. To pair off with Swap Frog, we are playing also the copy of the Mirror Mage. The Mirror Mage is going to be what lets us search for a copy of the Freezing Change, which lets us get into a early copy of the uh, totally awesome, which is very nice for an Omni Gate, which is just going to be part of your end board. Obviously, if you start off with a copy of Nimble Beaver, you're able to get into pretty much anything by summoning a copy of the Nimble Angler and then going up into whatever else you want uh, for like your Gigantic or your Sprints. Sprints and another copy of Angler, which sums up the two Beavers, and you kind of have your full combo just so that way. Now, this deck did get a really high boost with the copy of the Mirror Mage, being able to search for a copy of any Ice Barrier card on, uh, on Sense of the Graveyard, which is quite nice, and just the fact that it's an Aqua. Now, for the Sprite cards, we are playing the triple copies of uh, our copy of Sprite Blue. Triple copies of Sprite Jet, double copies of Red, double or one copy of Carrot. Uh, this is really it for the Sprite Monsters. We are playing double Red because I found the all out of the meta is mostly monsters. So having like to set up a copy of this, you know, we, we see most of the hand drafts being monster effects as well. So you're just able to early early summon this out. Your opponent will like will suspect that like, you can just go through it, sending a, sending a card to the graveyard, and then like negate with Red. Uh, comes up a lot more than with Carrot. You know, Imperm obviously is a big thing. But you can set up both of these a lot of the time as well. And just having the red in the hand can, as an extender can just help you out. Get you out of a pinch and summon a like, copy of Gigantic and stuff like that. Which is really nice. And a lot of times like your opponent will feel like, oh, it's in the graveyard now. After they've emburied you, you have like, a really bad hand. You're like, okay, so we don't have to pay attention to red anymore. It's in the graveyard. And having the second copy just comes up a lot. Then we are also continuing that with the three starters. The one Smashers and the one copy of Double Cross. And then for the last card, we're playing the one copy of Freezing Chains. This is really for the main engine of the Sprite deck. Now, we are playing the Going First variant, therefore, we are playing these two. But if you're playing the Going Second, you could definitely be playing copies of like Mulcharmies. You could be playing like uh, the copy of Gamma Burst and then not play these as well. You can play Bistials or whatever you want. It does obviously doesn't matter. You can also play a Pixies. I think that's very uncommon to play, but you can definitely do it if you want to. It's up to your, uh, you know, obligatory. But. All these cards did get reprinted. You know, these are now available in Ultras and Secrets. So very, very low uh, price. I think the most expensive card in this deck is SP and maybe this. Um, but all these cards have been reprinted very fairly recently. And I definitely think that people should pick this deck up as a good budget deck. Now for the hand traps, this is the part where you can decide to play. We are playing triple copies of Ash, triple copies of Valor, triple copies of Imperm. We are playing the Nibiru here. And we're probably the double Calents, the, the Cobble of the Grave, and the copy of the Angel Statue. This is going to be a 40 card deck. And I'll be mentioning to you guys, like, this is a very basic deck. So, like, if you're starting the game, you can pick this deck up, and it's, like, it's really good for beginners. Because you have, like, your deck, your engine here, which is all very, very standard. You know, be able to summon out your bodies. It's a combo deck that lets you, like, reward good gameplay. But then it also, like, the, the uh, control aspect of the deck, where you are playing multiple hand traps. You can change it up, so if you want to play going second, like Tempai, you can definitely throw in, like, your copies of Mulcharmies. You can throw in your copies of Regekis and just OTK your opponent. You can also play... Uh, the bestials here, I have thought about playing them, you know, taking out maybe the talents and playing each bestial, but they are just currently in my side deck. Uh, I'm also choosing to play this. You don't have to play this at all if you don't want to. You don't have to play the rabbit at all if you can cut it. Uh, I just really like this card, and I think that it helps the end board out quite a bit. Um, so that's kind of what I'm playing. But, like, no matter what the format is, you can change this deck around. Now, it may not always be the best deck of the format, but, like, you can play Shifter. So if you want to play Shifter, you can play, like, Shifter, uh, copies of Foos, or not Foos Ross, but the uh, Mulch Army. You can play bunch of other stuff like that as well just being able to hurt the being able to like combo through your stuff and like otk your opponent that way can also be an option i do play cop with the great i think this card is very important in the deck because mulch army does hurt you quite a bit you special in the hand from you special from the hand a lot in this deck so it does hurt you a lot uh but 
Other than that, I think this deck is very basic and also just helps you learn play the game. I really do enjoy the deck uh, for, for the simplicity of it. Now moving on to the extra deck, we are playing the double copies of Gigantic. The one copy is totally awesome, part of your end board, part of your high, have like two Omni Negates, and not a lot of decks have Omni Negates anymore. So like if you have an Omni Negate, or two Omni Negates, and you also have like a bounce, a copy of IP going up into an SP, and then you have like a hand trap as well. Most of the time you're gonna be winning just with that. Mannequin Cat, this card is mostly important for the side deck. If you don't really want a side deck or your locals is not really competitive, you don't have to play this. You can play a copy of like Sky Blaster instead. Uh, you play the one Sweeper, the one Downer Magician, the, or I guess I should say the one Mosquito, the one Downer Magician and one Zeus. This is also how you OTK a lot of times as well, very important. Then for the links, we're playing the one Sprint, the one IP, the one SP, the one Rabbit. You don't have to play that if you don't want to. And then we are playing a copy of the Dark, the Celine, and the Axe Code. Now you can definitely change it if you want to. You can play uh, these, like pretty much all this is mandatory, I want to say. But these three here can be replaced with these three, or not those three, uh, but my bad. I had them on the desk, but these three. So what these accomplish are essentially the same thing. So any two bodies as you go up into a copy of Dark, and then, you know, obviously with the Dark, and then you go into a Selene. If you have a copy of Valor or a Droll in the graveyard, you can go up into this. And then you can go to Axis Code, which can help you clear the games. Or you can go for the moon line, which is two monsters going to moon, activate the effect, target one of their monsters that's underneath the zones. And then that plus another one of your monsters goes up into a copy of the goddess, removing two cards from the field, which is kind of crazy. And then you essentially have like a nice uh, unaffected monster, really. You negate everything else on your opponent's side of the field and you remove two monsters off their field. Uh, what the important part is that it doesn't help you like really OTK. Now, obviously you take the two bodies off the field, but Access Code is going to be doing that a lot more frequently. Also being able to boost it up to like 53, which is kind of nice. And the Typhon does come up a lot. Like if you want to be able to just go and beat over something or bounce it, can be quite crucial. But I'm really just liking this. You can, if you want to, play the copies of like Fenrir instead. I just opted to not play Fenrir because I really do like having Nibiru in the deck. And Nibiru just feels like a like auto-include win in the game at most times. Which is why I'm just choosing to play it. Now the deck does have lots of different variations where you can play how you want to, which I really, really like about the deck. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or anything else you guys want to change, let me in the comment section down below. I will be taking this deck to locals uh, for a bit, getting kind of off the memento grind, but that's definitely going to be still going to be upcoming in the videos as well. Now we have a little bit more memento at our locals. Uh, I don't have to necessarily play the deck to get those combo videos or I guess those replays. But if you guys want to be seeing anything else, let me know in the comment section down below. And if this video gets to 100 likes, I'll make sure to do a combo video on this deck. Stay safe. Peace.